so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about Beaver Builder. Actually, we're going to talk about Beaver Builder Themer, which is a lot of words. But with Themer, we're going to build a footer on a Beaver Builder site. So what Themer allows us to do is essentially attach a footer to every single page we have currently, as well as any future pages we may add or posts. Um, really quick, we have a new master WordPress class that's free. Uh, you just put in your name and email address and it'll teach you how to build a website from start to finish, from domain names to setting up hosting to setting up WordPress and then Beaver Builder and then creating the whole page for free uh, with this master class. So it's a YouTube walkthrough with instructions that'll help you build a Beaver Builder website. All right. Next, we have a website here. It has a very basic footer. It used to be on the Genesis theme and it was switched to Beaver Builder. On Genesis, the footer looked like this. When we switched over to Beaver Builder, it's kind of close, but it could definitely be jazzed up and we're gonna show you how to do just that. So you can go to new, let's see. Oh, that's a new post, hold on. We actually want new themer layout, or you can go to Beaver Builder, themer layouts, add new. So we're gonna title it footer. The type is a themer layout. So themer is an additional plugin add-on to Beaver Builder. Then the layout, it asks what it is. Under structure, you have header or footer. We're gonna say footer, and we'll say add themer layout. Now we have the name at the top. And then the next thing we fill out is the location. So basically I want this on the entire site. But what you can do is have it show on singular, show on archives. On 404 pages, maybe you have a different footer or no footer at all. Um, so it's just something to consider. A footer for posts, post archives, page, media, etc. So you can really chop this up and make a different thing, footer, part, whatever you want, menu for every part of your site with Themer. Um, if I start building a lot of different layouts, I do add Beaver Builder categories. One thing to keep in mind is make sure your SEO isn't pushing this forward. So you don't wanna start ranking on your Beaver Builder categories when it's really just for you. All right, so that's the whole thing there. So I want on the entire site, now I'm gonna launch Beaver Builder. What it does is it now brings us to the front of the site, pulls out that ugly menu I showed before and adds this really nice touch here. The first thing I always do besides change the color is I go down to the bottom and it says um, the date here and I change this. But instead of just writing 2020, I can write FL underscore year and hit save. And FL year, Fastlane is who built Beaver Builder if you don't know. Underscore year, year just shows the current year. So what's really nice is this stays up to date in 2021, 22, 23, forever. Hopefully it's updated before then, but you never know. You'll see sites that now say like 2015 and 2016. So you know they're old and they've never been updated. This you can't tell from that because the uh, copyright um, year here always updates with the current year. So really nice uh, touch. These guys have a blue kind of theme. So we're gonna add blue in the background. So I have a Mac app called Sip. I don't know why it's called Sip, but we can grab this blue color and then I can go to the row, come down here. I don't know why they chose purple, but it really stands out. Um, we'll hit save. And then I usually make this one slightly darker. So I've got a color, paste, it's just a little kind of contrast and hit save. Now again, looks way better than it did before. The old one had a thing about scheduling and contacting. So we'll put that right here. Boop. All right. Save. We'll say, perfect. Um, one thing that happens all the time is it doesn't underline some of this stuff. So I do highlight it and click underline. Yes, I can change it in the style sheet, but to make things really quick, you can hit command 
U on the Mac or Control U on Windows, and now all of those are underlined. The um, correction right there is from Grammarly. It's a great plugin. Uh, corrects all my spelling problems, and it'll probably cl correct yours as well. Then they had recent posts in the middle. So we'll say recent news, and then we'll delete this. Go to plus, come down here. We're gonna want posts. Now posts initially just brings up a ton of stuff. Um, we don't want a masonry, we want a list. And we want, we'll do three. We don't want to page through them. We don't want to search. And I get rid of this just in case. But there's definitely posts. Now to go through this, I don't want an image because I just want a list. So we'll skip further down here. Hide the author. Hide the date because some of these are old. And I definitely hide the comments. And then hide the terms. And the content, I'm going to... Oops, I'm gonna hide. Because again, I just want a list with titles. And now that's what we got. Now to style it, I'll make this a little bigger. Um, I can come down here to the font size of the title. That might be too small. We'll do 14. And then let's see, post info we don't have. And we gotta look for the spacing here. That's for the words. No borders. This is for the box itself. Let's kind of clean this up to zero. I still want to find the spacing here. So it's in here somewhere and we'll find it. Um, I will say under content, um, custom query, you can say post, ascending, that's common. But under posts here, you can specify particular posts. Or under categories, you can specify a particular category. So if you had a featured category that you always wanted to call out in your footer, you could put featured right here, and it'll pull those posts in that category, which is really nice. All right, back to style. Let's see, border, radius, don't need that. Size. Content we turned off, so we don't need that either. Oh, here you go, it's post spacing. So I love their sliders because you can just shrink everything down. So we'll do it right about there. Try to line up next to that contact form. Perfect. So I'll hit save. And then, oh, the get in touch, we got to change. Kind of says it all over here. So I will just put this right here. So if you don't know, you type mail to in the link, colon, put your email in. Then when they click it, it'll go to the email, which is what you want. Don't need a map. Do need a phone. So I'll take this. I'm gonna actually cut, clean this up. That contact us could probably be a button, but we'll leave it as is. If you type T-E-L colon, put the phone number in, put a number one for the United States of America or whatever your country code is, then it'll dial that when they click the icon. Kind of nice. All right, and that's it for the footer. So I hit done, publish, and if I go back to the home page, you'll see, scroll the way down, footer, if I go to additional pages, footer again. So that's just a quick tutorial on creating a footer for the whole site for Beaver Builder using Beaver Builder Themer. If you have any questions about Beaver Builder, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If this was helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And lastly, please click that red subscribe button just below this video or the one on this video to subscribe to more YouTube tutorials just like this one. If you hit the little bell after it pops up, it'll notify you as well when something new comes up. Thank you so much for watching.